compliance challenges and solutions. Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we'll be addressing a common scenario in international shipping, transshipment. Specifically, we'll explore what happens if the cargo is transshipped through another country before reaching the United States. Transshipment can add complexities to the customs clearance process, so let's dive right in and find out how it impacts the importer security filing, ISF. Transshipment and its impact on ISF. When cargo is transshipped through another country before reaching the United States, it can introduce additional considerations and procedures in the customs clearance process. To understand the impact on the ISF, we need to address two key factors, the legal responsibility for ISF and the documentation requirements for transshipment. Legal responsibility for ISF. The legal responsibility for filing the importer security filing, ISF, rests with the party responsible for the importation of the goods into the United States. This typically refers to the party that has the right to make entry or the party designated as the importer of record. Even if the cargo is transshipped through another country, the legal responsibility for ISF filing remains with the importer. Documentation requirements for transshipment. When cargo is transshipped through another country, additional documentation may be required to ensure compliance with both the transshipment country's regulations and the importing country's requirements. The specific documentation and procedures vary depending on the transshipment country's customs regulations. Importers should work with their customs brokers, logistics partners, and relevant authorities to determine the exact requirements. ISF Filing and Transshipment in the context of ISF filing, transshipments generally do not impact the ISF requirements for the United States. The ISF should still be filed in compliance with U.S. Customs and Border Protection CBP, regulations for the shipment destined to the United States. However, the transshipment details and additional documentation related to the transshipment may need to be included in the ISF filing to provide the complete picture of the shipment's journey. Documentary Requirements and Communication Navigating the documentation requirements for transshipment can be complex, and effective communication and collaboration among importers, customs brokers, logistics partners, and relevant authorities are crucial. Importers should work closely with their customs brokers to ensure accurate and timely ISF filing, including any transshipment details and associated documentation required by both the transshipment country and the United States. Coordination with all involved parties Given the involvement of multiple stakeholders, the coordination of information among all parties is essential. Importers, customs brokers, and logistics partners must collaborate to ensure accurate and timely reporting, sharing documentation, and meeting all relevant customs regulations and requirements at each stage of the shipment's journey, including the transshipment process. Compliance with both transshipment and U.S. regulations To ensure compliance throughout the transshipment process, importers must adhere to the customs regulations of both the transshipment country and the United States. This includes providing accurate information, adhering to documentation requirements, complying with security procedures, and meeting all applicable regulations and reporting obligations in both countries. Transshipment and ISF when the cargo is transshipped through another country before reaching the United States, the legal responsibility for filing the importer security filing, ISF, remains with the importer. Importers must stay informed about the specific documentation requirements and regulations of both the transshipment country and the United States. Effective collaboration, communication, and compliance with all relevant customs regulations ensure a smooth transshipment process and customs clearance. Thank you for joining us today as we explored the impact of transshipment on the importer security filing, ISF. We hope you found this information valuable and informative. If you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, please let us know in the comments below.
don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content on international trade. Until next time, happy importing!